I start my work in the SAP Build lobby, where I can see and access all of my projects. From here, I could easily create a new project from scratch, but this time I will open the sales app demo application I have built beforehand. This application was built with SAP Build apps and lets the user create sales orders. With SAP Build apps, I can visually define how my application looks and feels via drag and drop. On top of that, I can add logic to the elements. This Get Approval button, for example, triggers an approval flow through an API. Pressing the button creates a record and returns the ID of the triggered process for monitoring purposes. Logic like this can be created by dragging and dropping actions into the logic canvas. There are many actions available, giving our users the power to create comprehensive logic in their applications. Let's select this material drop-down field. I applied a formula here, which maps data from the connected backend system to my application. For example, notebooks. The system automatically checks the validity of the given formula. This connection pulls in data from the backend system at runtime, allowing the user to only select available items in their sales order. Let's return to the SAP Build lobby and look at the SAP Build process automation flow. In my sales management demo scenario, I have created a process to handle sales orders. This process starts with an API trigger. I then added a condition that influences the process flow with an if-then statement. The order amount of the sales order is compared with a predefined value. Only if the order amount is bigger than the defined threshold, a manual approval is required. If it is lower, the default branch is taken, the data will be approved automatically. Approval forms can be created easily with the forms editor. I can simply drag layout elements or input fields onto the canvas and name and reposition them. There are various types of fields available, such as text, number, date, and many more. Let's return to the lobby. From here, I can not only interact with the projects, but also navigate to the SAP Build store, in which I can acquire pre-built content. There are hundreds of scenarios available. I can narrow down and find what I am looking for by applying filters. For example, to automations for SAP S4 HANA Finance. In the lobby, I can create different types of SAP Build projects. When I click on Create, I can choose what I would like to build. An application, automated process, or a business site. The third tile redirects me to SAP Build Work Zone, where I can build workspaces. I've created a sales management workspace beforehand. Let's open it and execute the scenario end-to-end. -end. In my sales management dashboard, I can see my contacts, open discussions, links and applications. This is very convenient. I have everything I need in one place. I can ask questions, propose ideas and review forecast numbers and various applications. All of this is directly embedded in my workspace. No need to open separate windows or applications here. I scroll down. And here I can review which computer systems are the best-selling ones this month. I can also change the selection in the drop-down and see the information for printers and other items I might want to create a sales order for. Once I have enough information, I proceed to the Sales Order Creation app. I provide the customer name and select the correct material from the drop-down menu. Its material code is completed automatically, pulling the data from the backend. I add the amount and delivery date and click on Get Approval to trigger a workflow instance. I am also shown the ID of the triggered process. The approval scenario has started and as you may remember, depending on the order amount, the order will be sent for either manual or automatic approval. In this case, Manual approval is required. The respective manager receives the approval form in their My Inbox app, reviews the data, provides an acknowledgement and leaves a message for the buyer. The manager can then decide to approve or reject the approval form by clicking on one of the buttons in the bottom of the screen. 
And finally, the person who created the order receives a notification that the order has been approved and accepted. The employee doesn't need to approve or reject this form. They only need to review and acknowledge it. In this notification form, the employee can see all the details entered earlier, plus the manager's comment. If needed, this could be supported with an email and the order can be sent for further posting to SAP s for example, through an API call. You've now seen how SAP Build Apps, Process Automation and WorkZone can be combined to an end-to-end -end scenario, allowing you to utilize SAP Build's joint low-code, no-code capabilities to address your business needs quickly and efficiently.